Okay, here is an International Harvester Scout 80. So this is the first Scout. These were built from 1960 to 1965. Uh, so that's pretty early with regard to SUVs. I mean, this thing was this thing was an SUV before anybody knew what an SUV was. Uh, I think they all had the removable top. Uh, one thing with the Scout 80 is that it had removable side windows. Um, so the Scout 80 was built until 65. That was followed up by the Scout 800. Uh, kind of an odd nomenclature, uh, given given that it was pretty much just a facelift of the Scout 80. And then the uh, Scout 2 came out, um, I don't know, I want to say probably mid-1970s, early 1970s, and uh, that it was it was pretty much all new. I mean, it was a, it was a heavily revised, or, you know, it was completely new. Anyway, the Scout 80, though, is this, like, very vintage, first-gen Bronco-looking, uh, I guess you could call it one of the first SUVs. Uh, this one's obviously been repainted uh, and re-upholstered, I'm sure. Uh, super simple up front. Manual transmission. You know, not much else going on up there. Uh, favorite feature, the bumper sticker in there. Uh, you got a 1964 North Carolina license plate. I have a feeling that means this is a 1964 Scout. Uh, love the white lettering on the back. Convertible top. Uh, this is February in Wilmington, North Carolina. And, uh, weather is convertible appropriate. Uh, one of the easiest ways to tell an original Scout 80 from a Scout 800 is that the Scout 80 has the IH logo in the grill, whereas the Scout 800 would have, uh, it would read international on a metal plate across the grill. But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, this thing is super sweet, super clean, clearly has been recently restored. Yeah. So there is your Scout 80 here in Wilmington.